G'day guys, how's it going? And today I'll be showing you how to restore a stock Android backup on your HTC One M8. So uh, I'll be going through this tutorial kind of uh, minimally, if you get what I mean. I don't actually have a proper Android on me, but it will kind of tell you how to like put it on your phone so it can be detected by the uh, chosen recovery. So head over to this XDA post uh, that states all the custom, sorry, the stock Android backups that people have made. So in case um, you didn't make a backup of your own, or you need the recovery, the stock recovery for it. Uh, you can come here and find it, find everything here. So it's based off your carry ID, CID. So you're gonna have to find the correct one and just go ahead and download one. So for an example, we want the T-Mobile 102, and you, it will tell you which recovery to use as well. So in this case, we need the Clockwork Mod Feels Touch Recovery, and some need uh, TWRP. And so you got to make sure you have the right recovery selected. So once you have downloaded your Android, your stock, uh, your stock uh, recovery, which is a bit further down past all the backups, we have stock recoveries here. Just um, if you can't really search or find the version number, just hit Control F, and you'll be able to search for the control number manually. So sorry, the version number. So once you have your stock recovery in your Android backup, make sure you flash the recovery that you're on. Or that that is required. So in this case, I would just be demonstrating it with TWRP. It is pretty much the same process with the others, I would assume. So once you're in your recovery, go ahead and make a backup of your boot um, or cache. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, it's, you just need to make a quick backup so it can set up like directories for it. So I'm just gonna back up the cache and just swipe to backup. And as you can see, the backup has started, and you can see where it is saved. It is saved in Data Media Zero. TWRP backups and this is where the important part is because you can make the folder TWRP and backups but you kind of need to put in your I think that's your serial number or something and that is where you got to put your backup in so I think that's the trick to it right now so turn your phone all the way back up onto the um on <laughs> when it boots into Android and that is when you're going to copy it to the folder so I'll be back when my phone boots up so once your device is booted back into Android go ahead and plug it in and open the, your device, the folders, and head over to the TWR, TWRP folder, which is from the internal storage, TWRP, backups, and then your serial number, and this is where you're gonna put your stock and Android backup that we downloaded earlier. So I'm gonna put the test one in here, because um, I don't actually have a proper one on me. So it, it'll name it whatever you have named there, so if it's like a bunch of numbers and the date and all that, you can change it to whatever you like. So all we need to do now is reboot back into the bootloader. Real quick, I'll unplug the phone. And we'll just select recovery. And now this, we should be able to see our test Android backup that we've just copied on. All right, so restore. And we can see we have the XDA Android test. So that's about it for the TWRP part. Um, I should have a look at CWM, but I believe it is pretty much exactly the same, except it will probably be under Clockwork Mod instead of CWM or TWRP. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, go ahead and feel free to subscribe and also leave a like on the video. Uh, really makes me happy. So uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.